15 years with the California Highway Patrol, and Officer Ricardo Ortiz says those blue and red lights still even make him a little nervous. In truth, you know, when an officer gets behind me, it still makes my stomach drop. We rode along with him to see for ourselves how do officers decide who is pulled over? According to data provided by law enforcement to the state, black individuals are stopped 131% more frequently than expected, given California's population. KCRA 3 Investigates has been digging into why that discrepancy exists and what can be done to eliminate it. For the CHP, addressing bias starts with training in the academy. They have role players um, and they walk up on those vehicles. They usually use uh, a civilian vehicle. Um, and they come up and they make the stop just as if they were going to make it out on the road. As part of their policy, the department also limits consent searches. A consent search is just saying, hey, uh, do you mind if I search your vehicle? Not giving you any kind of reason of why I'm searching the vehicle. The RIPA board says these kinds of stops are inherently vulnerable to bias because they aren't based on objective criteria. The RIPA board says during a traffic stop, black individuals are four times as likely to be asked for a consent search compared to white individuals. During stops where officers do perform consent searches, officers are least likely to find contraband in the possession of those who are black. Back out on the road, Officer Ortiz's focus is the numbers. So you have a speed of 63, 1,067 feet. So at that distance, I can't see who's in that car. He clocks a driver going 92. OK, ready? Yeah. Stop you for your speed. At what point did you realize the race of that driver? I didn't realize it until I walked up to the vehicle. I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. Um, the race of the person, the texture of the hair, there, there was just so much that I couldn't even see. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. What do you think is the most important thing people need to understand about consent searches? You have the option to say no. Um, and if you consent to the search, you do have that option with the Highway Patrol to withdraw that consent at any time. Brandy Cummings, KCRA 3 News. And that RIPA data shows that the racial disparities in traffic stops are much smaller for CHP versus agencies in Sacramento. Black individuals making up 10% of stops in 2022 compared to being 5% of the population. That's a five point difference versus a 19 and 26 point difference respectively for Sacramento Sheriff and police. The RIPA board is recommending that California eliminate consent searches entirely, but says CHP's approach could serve as a model for at least limiting them statewide. And you can catch the first two parts of our series stopped. It's on our KCRA3 app. Look for the article right on the homepage.